Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Ukulele. I am the Duck of Indeed, and we just did the second boss, the one in uh, the Icy Metric Palace in Glitter Glaze Glacier. Now the vents should have some heat going through them, and we're going to continue checking out the castle. I think we're going to be able to do everything we can, every remaining thing that we can still do in this world, I think we're going to do in this episode. I think. Hmm. Well, there's apparently something secret here. But what, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, I probably... I don't know what I'm doing. We're not going to be completely done with this world. We, we'll have to come back later for things that we couldn't do. But, uh, do what we can. I need those things. What are all these weird advertisement, fake advertisements here? Plumbing by Tyler Baldwin Toilet Services. 100% satisfaction or your product returned. No. No. I gotta get those quills. But what's through here? Just takes me straight to the other side. I think it's something like they say the last 30... I need to tur probably turn that off. They said like I think the last 30 quills in a world... Um, the thing, the little thing that helps you find secrets will go off. So I should probably turn that off or it's going to be going off all the time. For every single quill we find now. I think that's what that's for. Since we're getting low on quills, that's what's going on. Okay, now wrong button. I don't need that actually. There you go. So yeah, there's vents now. Now that the place is going to be nice and cozy because the boiler is working. Oh yeah, I haven't been through here yet. Okay, I just had to go fast. Gotta go fast. Hello, Rextro. I'm gonna have that thing going off all the time because I have that thing for finding uh, hidden items and stuff. Hi, Rextro. I'll see you later. I need the token first. Which one's the real one? Laylee, I sense a trap. I think we should choose wisely. Okay, which one? Which one is different? There's one that's spinning, I think, a different direction. This one. Got it. Cool. What in the... Stop doing that. Friends! Here to try Rexo's next arcade game. Hold on, I thought your work patch was in that other world. Money Titan, Rextro Household. This is second evening shift. Sorry to hear that, Rextro. I didn't know old game characters could multitask. Are you ready to try the next thing? We've got your silly coin, Polygon Boy. I'm gonna meet up with you guys. I need to get rid of that tonic. Okay, I'm not using any tonics right now. I mean, I should at least do the one that gives you extra health. But I'm not even using that one. I just needed that thing to stop whistling at me. Okay. Extra health. Is there any way I can get over that? Oh. 
Okay, we got it. Aha! I did it. No big deal. Is that do anything over here? Yeah. Okay, there's different, different path over here. By the way, I, I know this isn't made by Rareware, but this is obviously supposed to be a uh, spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie. If you're interested in that kind of thing, we have recorded Ukulele 2. That's already on the channel. We also have recorded Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. And right this moment, Carrie is in the middle of recording a Rare Replay Nostalgic Notion series. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. Rare Replay Nostalgic Notions. Is every Saturday. I don't, uh, I don't know how to do this right now. Actually, I want to get that. There we go. Kind of stuck it in a weird place, Rextro. What's this one gonna be? Yeah. Sure. Okay, Glaciators. It's like gladiators, but not. Okay. Arena Brawler, jump, spin attack, jump attack. Grab quills, two minute game, grab power ups, hit things. Okay. Okay, what is the score I should be getting? I don't know, we'll just... I don't know if I just have to last for two minutes, maybe? We got three units of health. Many points as we can and see what happens. Oh, I've already gotten hit! I've already gotten hit! You can't start being silly, what's this? Cool, invincibility. That's definitely useful. I could see good uses for that. <laughs> oh! Okay, I think it's worn out by now. I don't know what exactly uh, the goal is, if it's just to last for two minutes. Speed boost! Thank you, Nimbo! Thanks for the quills! Okay. I accidentally fell. But that's okay. Because they brought me right back. I was afraid I would, like, automatically die if I fell. You don't. You just use a, lose a unit of health. I actually thought I got hurt earlier, but I still have two units left. Invincibility! No, well, that was pretty easy. I'm assuming that's it. Do I get my page? Nice! Game is won. Did friends have fun? It's fine. <laughs> It was all right. You're not going to ask us to submit a five-star review, are you? <laughs> oh no, Rextro bribed important reviewers a long time ago. I don't want to play again. It's it's fine. No, I don't. No, please no. There's a new place that got unlocked uh, when we expanded the world, so let's check that out. What do you think? Let's go. Boom, right in the water. Over there. Let's check it out. Actually, I don't think we have too much more to do in this place, so... It may not be much longer. We might be able to head towards 
How do I get this to do it? We might be able to head towards World 3 pretty soon. Depends on how long this episode goes. Come on, quickly! I could be drowning! Let's go! So let's see... Oh, this is part of the Icy Metric Palace again. Okay. Wonder... Oh, whoops. Uh huh. Okay! Down you go! That wasn't too hard. Actually, I think I might know where this leads. Yeah, it leads here. Alright, let's see what's this way. I actually don't think there's much more to do. Okay. Some enemies. David Sim Fitting Company never get lost again. I don't I don't understand all these weird signs. Break all these walls. enemies. Why not? A lot of them have bars. This one doesn't seem to. There's a pagey! Talk to you. Mm. Okay. Sorry, tub's broken. Bubbles all gone. Hmm. You do get an ability later on where you can uh, you can make bubbles in the water. You know what I'm saying? You do get an ability like that, and it sounds like I'm joking, but I'm not. Makes me think I need to come back for that later. Can I go through fire with this? I might be able to. Yeah! You can go through fire with that. I was thinking I'd have to put the fire out, but that was not an option. Okay, cool. Honey! No! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! I gotta go up! Quickly! Heidi! What's up with the bat's nose? I can recommend a good surgeon. Laylee is fine the way she is. Don't you judge her. I think, I think there's something else I can do back here, but also I think Trouser said he was going to be in the archive. So we'll see. Do this real quick. What's this way? Huh? 
probably a shortcut. Well. There we go. Yeah, I still- there's like a pagey around here and I don't know what to do with it. Would you just- would you just do it? Aha! Uh -huh, there you go. Okay. So selfish, you've no idea how long I had to pose for that. You break off his nose. Woohoo! Perfect. Okay, I'll meet up with you guys back at the archive, alrighty. Okay, for some reason I just cannot find him. There he is. I, there's actually an arrow pointing right at him. Hmm. Yes? Hey, Trouser, what are you doing slumped in the shady corner? I've got another free maneuver for you, but this one needs to stay off the books, pal. This next move was taught to me by my wise grandmaster. Wow, that sounds impressive. What is it? With this ancient buddy bubble technique, you can wield the powers of the ocean and walk underwater. <laughs> Finally, something useful. How do we master these powers, worm boy? You don't want to know, Lily. First, take a deep breath, then when underwater, push R2 to release your gulp as a piping hot bubble. Hmm. Uh. Is there a more uh, socially acceptable method for walking underwater, Trouser? Not for free, there isn't. Why don't you try out your new move in that aquarium over there? Yeah. Okay. This is what I've been telling you guys about? Probably thought I was at Sade, but I'm not. You'll see. You'll see. Jetpacks and butlers. Like, okay then. Okay, let's go down. And I forgot the button. The bubble. And, uh... It's a bubble. A... You don't want to know where that bubble came from. How do I... Okay, so what am I supposed to do down here? You can walk around on the bottom of the water. Uh huh. there we are. Okay, are there mushrooms on the bottom of the water? There's mushrooms at the bottom. I don't think mushrooms grow under water, sillies. Okay, this way. We're at least gonna reach world number three. I think we'll be starting it in the next episode, though, most likely. Let's waterworks. We could stand on the lily pads. Also, also there's something underwater. Aha! Uh -huh. <gasps> Gotta go through hoops again. Who would have thunk? Yeah. Ah. I had a feeling this game really, this game really makes you jump through hoops. Literally, they make you do that quite a lot too. I remember when I first played this game, thinking, man, you have to jump through hoops a lot. And I was thinking, did I just exaggerate it? Was I just exaggerating how often you have to swim through hoops? Or jump through hoops, or fly through hoops, or whatever? No. You really- Oh, whoopsie. You really have to go through hoops a lot. I'm not even joking. They really make you do that. All the time. Let's see, actually, I bet this is a shortcut over here. Definitely want to check that out. Shortcuts are nice. Go down, my friends. <gasps> this leads back to the beginning. <gasps> there we are. Okay, let's go. Not sure if I should be swimming in this water that has, uh, skulls painted around it. I think I saw something. Where did I see something? Where did I see something? 
Over here. Right there. There's a pumpkin under here. He's watching me. What are you looking at? You never seen a lizard and a bat swimming around in their own gas bubble before? Smile, you're on CCTV. Okay. But okay, I probably shouldn't be here. Probably not where I was intended to be. Hello, you. Oh, ow. Well, now you have to die. Like I was gonna kill you no matter what, but. Hello, pumpkins. Pumpkins? Look at all the pumpkins. Oh, pumpkins. This way. I can't go that way right now. Let's get these enemies out of the way. How much do we have to pay for this world? Seven. Oh, I think I have enough. Moody Maze Marsh. Alliteration. You can't have a platformer without alliteration. Or puns or some kind of joke. You need that. Eight pages to expand. I'll do that later. <laughs> we remember, Goldie. Extra scenery, more annoying characters to help. Can I get that? Stay back, you ugly, evil, corporate minions. You'll never take me alive. Kung Fu kick. Freedom! Oh, this guy, I remember this guy. He was annoying. Oh dear, at least he didn't develop Stockholm Syndrome. Well, let's get that real quick, and then we will end this episode. Oh, won't that be fun. He's gonna run from me, isn't he? He's gonna run from me, because he's a jerk. Back off, I know origami. Good for you. And we got him. You've not heard the last from Crazy Kirkhope. Isn't that the last name of, like, the composer that did music for, like, Banjo-Kazooie? Anyway, in the next episode, we are going to start World 3, Moody Maze Marsh. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and as usual, don't forget to visit us at virtualbastion.com for more gaming goodness. Goodbye, and you're welcome.